Okay, my name is Bonita Sutton, and my paper is on Albrick Durer. This is a portrait of him. Notice that um, on the left side, it has um, 1500, and his initials A.D., but the A is overlapping, the big A is overlapping the big D. And then right here, he has um, his name, and then the year, 1500. So notice that he pays very much attention to the eyes. It looks real, looks like it's just looking right at you. And as well as his hands. Um, curly hair, he reminds you of Jesus the Christ when looking at him. This portrait right here is the hands. Now notice that right here looks like a little white shiny light coming down to the hands notice that the wrinkles and the veins in the hands and the roughness of the hands as well um, Dora is known for religious paintings um, altar paintings um, just very much in detail the clothing Looks like it was back in um, the 16th century, the way it's folded up and um, the color, the shading right here. Um, his hands look a little rough. I don't know if I said that before, but it looks really rough and looks like he's praying for um, relief or um, he's tired. Notice that the nails are trimly cut. There's no um, no... His nails are not long. Um, just very together. It's a green background. And then right here you can see a little, it looks like little rays of lighter green right here. This next one is called um, the, head of the, the Head of a Negro. Um, not too sure. It is not known where he met this man at, but... Um, his hair is fine. Um, it doesn't look like the the regular wool that you would think of when you're talking about a, a man from Africa. But definitely curls in his hair. Um, shade right here in his ear. Um, his eyes, once again, the eye sticks out to you. Um, his lips, full lips, mustache, um, full nose, broad nose. Um hair around his chin. His neck is very broad as well. Um, he looks very, very serious right here. It's a good picture. Now this last one is um, the angel with the key to the bottomless pit. It depicts um, St. John. Right here, I suppose that's, you know, someone in heaven talking to him and him pointing to the new the new um kingdom the new kingdom of God the new um earth the new heaven and earth that is um portrayed in revelation saint john is actually the one who had the revelation of um the apocalypse and satan down here the devil being thrown into the bottomless pit for a thousand years Here's the key right here. It's a pretty big key. And notice that um, Satan or the devil is below St. John. Um, so that also dis that displays him um, in the hierarchy. That he's not important. The devil is not, not as important as John. The devil is um, John with the authority from God. With the you know permission from God is more powerful than a devil. But you have these hills and different castles and I guess supposed streets of gold. Now the picture is in black and white so you really can't tell. But um, that's it with Albert Doerr.